Hi, this is Bo Astrup. I want to talk to you about Motu DP11 and um, Atmos and Adobe uh, Render. How you can make it work, it's not perfect. And this is not a tutorial on how to mix in Atmos. It's just about how to set it up and get an initial feel for how this interact and how it works. Now in case of mixing music, it's either mono or stereo tracks that we're using, so that's that's perfect. So what I have done here is I've set up a basic DP template. And I'll go over you with that and uh, you'll be able to download it. There'll be a link below how to uh, where to download it or how to request it. And um, this is the basic setup. So let's first look at the Dolby uh, renderer. This is where where is that? Um, we will first set the. Um, we'll just leave the monitoring at physical. Uh, by the way, there's no master file opening. Now this is not a tutorial on how to use the render, uh, but a master file is basically your setup. And what I do uh, personally when I start a new project, I make a new master file for that project with the name of the project and you can save and export the master file and so on because eventually you you will need to um, export the actual um, file out of the Dolby renderer so in the Dolby Atmos renderer go to preferences and here we'll set the audio drivers core audio the audio input should be Dolby uh, Audio Bridge, and then you set your output device. That's your interface and your interface. Uh, you can you can do a two out interface. It it will still run. You just can't hear some of some of the some of the channels, of course. Uh, the LTC input channel that's default set to one twenty nine. That's fine. Then we have the format which is important here uh, the frame rate uh, I use um, 30 frames per second and the sample rate of your project that can either be uh, 48 or 96 so that's basically uh, the initial setup that you need but in the audio output device if you had a an, a multiple like like a, a Mo 24 AO is, is great for this purpose then you can actually hook up your speakers to the 24 AO and have all your immersive uh, audio going. Okay, so we'll click accept. So let's go look at DP. So the first thing that's important is we just set the time code incoming into the Dolby renders. So we actually need to have a track in DP that will send a 30 frames per second, 48 kilohertz, 70 time code. Now there's no LTC generator in it. You can generate MIDI time code and so on in DP, but there's no 70 generator in DP. So what I did was go to this website. Um, I'll link it below too, but you can see it here, LCC at perhoveni.net or whatever. Um, I will not, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. You set up the parameters, 30 frames per second, sample rate 48, 24 bit, and then you choose the duration of your safety time code. You set your start time and then you say generate and it will download a WAV file. So that WAV file I have imported into DP here and call it LCC. Now let's talk about how to set up the routing. Also exported the bundles that I have set up here so you can import those go to studio and bundles and this is what I have but you can go over here and then you can import the bundles and this will be what what you get and now what we need to do in DP is go to setup and configure audio mode configure hardware driver and now here you will select the Dolby audio bridge as your master device we set the sample rate to 48k which is corresponding to what we set in the renderer so we'll click OK here. Now we go look at the bundles. I have provided a 
the bundle. I exported the bundles we're going to see right now. Uh, but let's go to bundles in the studio menu. And you can see, uh, looking at outputs, we have the Dolby Audio Bridge. So I added these outputs. We, I'll go through them one by one. But here's the LTC. And if we scroll all the way out here, you can see I put it at output number 129 corresponding with 129 here in the input channel. So if I run this project, the SEMTI code runs here, and you can see the SEMTI code corresponds over here. Okay. Let's look at the setup here. So we have the left right speaker, the sender speaker, the LFE, the subwoofer. Uh, we have the, the left center, uh, the right center, and the rear left and the rear right. And then we have the top speakers here, the top left front, the right left front, and the top left rear and, and right top rear. Okay, so what I have done here is I have made one mono track for each of these speakers, right? So we have left, right, center, LFE, and so on and so forth up here to um, the channel, channel 10. And if we go back and look at the bundles, that's basically what you see here. It goes to channel 10, and this is how they're set up. Then I've added some uh, stereo, so if you have a, s a stereo track that needs to be routed, this is this is how we're going to do it. So, but let's go go through these and just see how they correspond and they are uh, routing audio into the renderer. So let's move the renderer over here a little bit. So. Let's lower the volume here just a smidge so it's not overpowering. Let's unmute. Uh, I added a, just a sine wave here to each of these tracks. So here we go. So here you have the left. You see it comes in left on the renderer. It also lights up here in the object. Go to the right, goes to the right. And you can see this is the routing down here. Dolby Audio Bridge 3 corresponds to what is set up in the bundles. There we go, Cinder Speaker. That's my, that's my subwoofer. Now you can't hear this because now we are going out of the, the stereo realm, but you can see how it's routed. And that's when we get into what can I do with uh, more channels if I want to have something between two speakers or high above or low or something. That's where we can start using the objects. So we have some active objects here. So I made one. It's a monofile. I set it to object 13. Let's go back, look at the bundles. See here, mono, object 13 goes to object 13, Dolby Bridge 13, and I have an object for 14, there they are. And then I have added the Dolby Atmos Music Panner. And here you go, this is, so I set this Object 13 go to my rear left. So let's play this. And let's go look at the, and there you go. Now, here's the problem with DP. That is normally what it should be that you should be able to move the panner and have the audio follow. But if you noticed, I move where I want my object placed. And this is the height, by the way. You see, it doesn't move here. 
if I close or stop and then start playing again, now you can see I have moved it around. So something is not updating between DP and the renderer. That might be a problem. It's something I can still, I can get around it creatively, but I can't just, this was actually supposed to be able to do this. You should actually be, uh, you actually uh, have a step sequence so you could have steps of moving it around in space. Uh, but it doesn't work in DP. It, it, it works in the sense of I can route it where I want this to be routed, but I can only set it and then it'll only work when I'm working. And by the way, I, I have a, and by the way, I do have a uh, version of this. These are AUs. I also made a version to check out if VST3 was behaving differently, but they are uh, behaving the very same way, but both uh, projects are available for you if you want to try them out. Now, and then same thing over here for the other object that I, I made, so that will go to that should that's wrong, that's uh, object 14, so we need to set it to object 14. There you go, and you see that goes to the right place. So object 13, object 14. Then I made some stereo tracks and routed them to Dolby Audio Bridge 1-2, which is the left and right speaker. So here we go. And you can see it plays. And here I can use the, um, the panner in DP to have full stereo planning, panning as I normally would. We have this going to the mids and again we can pan them. And same thing here for the rares. I have full panning. Now comes a weird thing and that is the way DP is routing audio to the tops. Because even though I, I make a bundle individually to go to the tops, to the, to the, right, to the right output in the Dolby audio bridge, I cannot separate left uh, or back and front. So tops will be playing either all tops or left tops and right tops tops i cannot i cannot get it to play in just just one of these tops let's go back to do we have if we go to 10 you can see this is only going out to channel 10 but both of them are playing so something is something is going on with the internal routing but but that's the drawback that's the only thing you can do so what can you do so saying we were we were having something here uh, with object 1112 which goes to left right but I also want this to say I want to move it down here well um, that's where we insert the music panner and again the problem with the music panner is when we move them they don't move until I stop playback and start playing again now you see I moved them so there's there's more on the on the center the, the mid speakers here than there is in the front. So I want to have this in the front and a little bit down the mid range, uh, down mid in the scene. So that's, that's how I have to do it. So it's not perfect, but I can definitely make a mix and I can make it work. And if I wanna add something to it, if, if I wanted to do this, 
Um, I, I, we can always cheat, right? Uh, DP lets you let you work in so many ways. So I can move this up, and I could actually add the um, just add a scent, right? So if we add a scent here, that would go to say five six. So it starts out in the front, and now I'm adding, moving it down there as well. So I could set this up with multiple sends and cross fade, so I can actually make the movement in DP. So uh, that's actually a way to work around it, and that's what I'm doing. It's not perfect, but it lets me get working, and I can get something done. So anyway. This was not a tutorial on how to mix Atmos just to get it set up and that it actually does work in DP and what you have to do and what you have to look out for. Leave your comments below and everybody says smash and all that stuff, but you all know that and that's boring. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.